Good day, students. Welcome to our health class. Today, let us discuss the effects of pest and rodents to one's health and the ways on how to prevent and control pest and rodents. From time to time, pest and rodents can become overwhelming to us. A pest is any animal or plant which has a harmful effect on humans, their food, or their living conditions. Pests include animals which carry disease-causing microorganisms and parasites. For example, mosquitoes which carry Ross River virus and Murray Valley encephalitis. Attack and eat vegetable and cereal crops. For example, caterpillars and grasshoppers. Damage stored food, like cockroaches. Attack and eat farm and station animals. Damage clothing. Damage buildings. For example, termites can cause considerable damage to timber in buildings. Bite people. For example, bed bugs which bites can cause great irritation to those bitten, and like mosquito bites, it can become infected if scratched. How about rodents? Rodents are warm-blooded mammals. They have oversized front teeth for gnawing, which are adapted for chewing. Rodents chew on a variety of items available to them and cause great damage in and around homes. Rodents may carry diseases and taint food with waste, fur, and saliva. In fact, mice can contaminate about 10 times the amount of food they eat. It is likely that some pets will be found in the community with these conditions. Feces or dead animals lying around. Septic tongues and leech drains with leads broken or missing. Pools of water caused by licking taps. Overflowing effluent drains. Objects such as old tires and other water holding containers left lying around which could collect water. Rubbish including food scraps left lying around. Blocked and or unclean toilets. Grass growing in sewage lagoons. Pests can also be found in homes with food left uncovered in kitchens, unclean tables and bench tops, unclean cupboards and shelves, unclean kitchen floors. Here are the signs that there are pests in a house. For cockroaches, lots of little block droppings, a sweet sickly smell, dead cockroaches, cockroach egg cases, and chewed labels and paper. Signs of rats and mice include teeth marks and damage from chewing, rat and mice droppings, greasy smears from rat's fur mark the runways, rat and mice holes, running, chewing, or scratching noises. Signs of bed bugs include adult bed bugs hiding in the seams of mattresses and bed frames, dark blood spots on bedding, small white clusters of eggs sticking to the mattress seams, people complaining of being bitten. Let us talk about the effects of pests and rodents to our health. When flies land on things like food scraps, manure, feces or dead animals, they pick up disease-carrying germs and germs. The germs are carried on their hairy bodies and legs and in their stomachs. When the flies land on things like food, cups, knives and plates, the germs can be passed onto these articles. If people then eat the food or use these articles when eating food, they will get the germs into their bodies and may become sick. These are the diseases caused by germs and parasites which come from flies. Bacterial diseases such as salmonellosis, shigellosis, and trachoma. Viral diseases such as hepatitis A. 
When people have cuts and sores on their bodies, disease-carrying flies can land on them and cause them to become infected. Like flies, cockroaches can carry many disease-causing germs on and in their bodies. Because their natural homes include rubbish, dirt, and field, they readily pick up germs from these areas. They then walk over food, cutlery, crockery, and cooking equipment, benches, tables, and other places in the home and pass the germs on to people. Cockroaches can transmit the following diseases, salmonellosis, typhoid fever, cholera, dysentery, leprosy, plague, camphylobacteriosis, and listeriosis. Cockroaches can also trigger asthma and other allergies, as well as spread E. coli, Staphylococcus aureus, and Streptococcus. If a mosquito takes a blood meal from a person or animal that is infected with these virus germs, then the virus will grow inside the mosquito. If it later bites another person or animal, it may pass on some of the virus germs and that person or animal may catch the disease. This cycle can go on and on, infecting lots of people and animals and causing a disease outbreak with lots of sick people. Many people all over the world have died as a result of diseases transmitted by mosquitoes. These are the diseases caused by germs and carried by mosquitoes. Murray Valley Encephalitis Ras River Virus Disease Barma Forest Virus Disease Kunjin Virus Disease and Dengue Fever the mosquitoes likely to carry these virus breed in open, shallow, and poorly maintained sewage lagoons and in water-holding containers, including rubbish left lying around people's yards. Rats and mice, like other animals, which live in rubbish tips, drains, sewers, and other unhygienic places, pick up disease-causing germs from their environment. They then become carriers of these germs and can spread dangerous diseases by entering our houses. These are the diseases caused by rodents, Salmonella, Typhoid, Wilds disease, Typhus, Rat bite fever, Hantaviruses, Rat tapeworm, Thymbocytic choriomeningitis. How can rodents spread diseases through direct contact. You can catch these diseases by coming into direct contact with their urine. This can be by touching it or touching something that has been contaminated. Another is through contaminated food. This is contracted via contaminated food and water. This happens when a rat or mouse urinates on a food source or water supply. Another is through contaminated air. You can also catch a rodent-borne disease from inhaling dust that has been contaminated by their urine. And through open wound. If you have an open wound or scratch which is not properly dressed, then you can be at risk of catching an infection if your wound or scratch comes into contact with rodent urine. These are the ways to prevent and control pests and rodents. As with most insect pests, the best way to control mosquitoes is to get rid of their breeding sites. This means making sure that water is not allowed to collect in unwanted equipment and containers which are left lying around. These containers might include car bodies and panels, engine blocks and tires, tin cans, plastic containers, drums, leads, and jars. Mosquitoes can also breed in water which has collected in block gutters and drains, water tanks, septic tanks, and leach drains which do not have leads, still areas of water in sewage lagoons, pools of water lying under leaking taps. Other ways in controlling pests are wrap all food scraps tightly. Make sure the rubbish bin has an undamaged, tight-fitting lid that stops flies from getting in. 
empty the rubbish bin regularly, at least weekly and more frequently if there are many people visiting or there is a house with a large family. Make sure rubbish is disposed properly at the rubbish tip and covered regularly. Make sure the toilet is clean and working properly. Make sure the toilet vent pipes are fly-proofed. Make sure the septic tanks and leach drains are not damaged and have proper sealed lids. Remove dog and other feces daily if possible. Dispose of feces and dead animals to the rubbish tip as quickly as possible. Clean shelves and inside and underneath cupboards regularly. This will reduce the buildup of food particles. Keep all the benches, cupboards, and floors clean and free of food scraps. Regularly clean behind stoves, refrigerators, and other household appliances. Use fly screens to stop pests entering the house and seal holes around pipes. All of the good hygiene practices listed for other pests will also help to keep rodent numbers low. Design a building that makes it difficult for rats or mice to enter. Fly wire doors and window screens also help to keep rodent out of houses. Other methods of controlling rats and mice are to use traps and poison baits. Ensure that baits are placed well out of the reach of children and pets, such as cats and dogs. Let us practice these ways to control pests and rodents. Through this, we can avoid the diseases caused by them. Remember, prevention is better than cure. I hope you learned from our lesson. Thank you so much and see you again. Goodbye!